Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. My name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram. Today I'm going to be batch cooking a load of stuff for George so I thought I'd record it and share with you some of the recipes that I really love doing. It's super super easy to batch cook, pop it in the freezer and then get it out when you need it. That is my go-to at the moment so yeah I'm gonna get on and start batch cooking some stuff for George whilst he's napping and I will show you what I make. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart for these ones, I'm gonna do the plain banana and oat pancakes. I'm then gonna add blueberries to some of them and I'm also going to add pear to some of them because I've got a couple of pears that are gonna go off soon. So I thought I would grate them up and pop that into the mixture as well. So that way I have oat banana pancakes, but three different ways. After cup after cup, yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they. For the pear ones, I'm gonna add some baking powder to them just because I think it needs some help with rising because of the extra moisture from the pear. So I'm just adding the baking powder, but everything else is exactly the same. Sharing stories that we never had yet, none is real I think we're searching for reasons not to be like them, them. We fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall Now I'm going to add the pear, oat and banana pancake mixture to the pan. This mixture is slightly more moist because of the moisture added from the pear but they cook absolutely fine as well. I added a little bit of baking powder like you saw and they are going to be so delicious. And then finally I'm going to add the blueberries to the mixture and then this will be my final pancake batter. by thunder 
the storm a lightning strike as we hold each other tight you're the rose in a garden and it shows if i'm So at the moment we've got four of the plain banana and oat pancakes, then we've got four of the pear pancakes, the ones that I added pear to, then we're cooking four of the blueberry ones here with pear and banana and blueberries, and then there's also some extra batter that I'm going to make some more with as well. We have some sweet potato fries in here, cooking away, about 40 minutes left on them, and then we also have the batter for the courgette and parmesan fritters. I will basically be doing the exact same with this as I have been with the pancakes. They are essentially just savoury pancakes, fritters, whatever you want to call them. So you can make this with absolutely any kind of veg. I actually might chop up some peppers now and pop that in there as well because we have got some peppers that I bought last week. So they do need using up and George will probably not even notice if it's in there. So this is everything that we batch cooked today. We started off by doing the four banana oat pancakes, then we did four of the banana pear and oat pancakes. Then we added blueberries to the mixture and made a hell of a lot of those. Um, and then I also did some courgette and pepper parmesan fritters and then also just some sweet potato wedges as well and these are George's absolute favorite things to eat 100% he will definitely eat all of this stuff so that is why I like cooking it obviously it's super healthy there's also some good tasting stuff like the parmesan the blueberries you know he loves this kind of thing I've also added cinnamon to the sweet potato wedges so none of it's bland it's all really exciting for him he eats it all but there's vegetables and fruit and everything in them so I feel a lot better about it it. Once these have all cooled down, I'll pop them all into some individual Ziploc bags and pop them in the freezer. I will try to get them out of the freezer like individually the day before I need them, but if I forget, 
I do have a microwave, so it's not a big deal. I tend to try and avoid microwave. I definitely won't microwave them, but I, these things will actually microwave all right. If worse comes to worse, I can pop them back in the oven. But that is everything done. Anyway, guys, that is everything for today's video. George is about to wake up. I've heard him stirring. So this is what I've batch cooked him during his nap time. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. And if you want to see any more batch cooking videos or baby food videos or whatever, then let me know down in the comments. But I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby.